If we further review the pathophysiology of COPD, we note that noxious stimuli, and these are things like tobacco, smoke, or other environmental allergens, actually go on to cause damage in both large and small airways. The damage leads to airflow limitation, airway inflammation, airway fibrosis, and increased airway resistance. The inhaled noxious stimuli cause accumulation of inflammatory cells, and these include neutrophils, CD8 cells, T lymphocytes, B cells, and macrophages. These cells release inflammatory mediators, including tumor necrosis factor alpha, interferon gamma, and several others as you see listed. All of these inflammatory mediators go on to activate the cells and cause chronic inflammation and tissue damage. All of this inflammation goes on to lead to airway remodeling. And airway remodeling is responsible for the classic symptoms of COPD. The airway remodeling produces airway narrowing, peribronchial fibrosis, there's a buildup of scar tissue from damage to the airways, which goes on to further produce narrowing. And then there's over multiplication of the epithelial cells lining the airway. There is parenchymal destruction, which leads to a loss of elasticity. And for a patient with COPD, that means that their airways can't respond the way that normal airways would. And also mucus secreting cells, which are sometimes referred to as goblet cells, go on to replace healthy cells. And this is what causes a lot of the classic mucus overproduction that we see in COPD, which can cause the chronic cough that many patients have. COPD has some other names that you may hear when you're learning and taking care of patients with this disorder. Some of these other names include chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Chronic bronchitis is chronic productive cough for at least three months in each of two successive years. And for patients that have this diagnosis, that means that other causes of chronic cough have been ruled out. For emphysema, there is an abnormal permanent enlargement of the air spaces or particularly the alveoli. Emphysema is also, is also a pathological term Emphysema is a pathological term that describes some structural changes in the airways as well. Sometimes you'll see patients referred to as blue bloaters and pink puffers. Blue bloaters are patients with chronic bronchitis who have um, cyanotic symptoms, so they may look sort of blue. Frequently these patients are obese and they have a very productive cough, which is what leads to the term chronic bronchitis. For patients who are pink puffers, these are patients with, patients with emphysema. They typically are very thin, sometimes even cachectic or very, very skinny, and they may have a hyperinflated chest from some of the airway remodeling, and they may engage in pursed lip breathing or breathing like this. 